everybody, we are back. We have a third gen here and I broke it. Totally joking, well, kind of joking, not really joking. The truck broke itself, and when I say the truck broke itself, I just mean it needs a new one of, a new one of these. So I was launching the truck the other day. I got four launches in, had a lot of fun, and then I start to hear a smack, 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 smack under the hood, and I thought, what on earth? And at first, I was just hoping and praying. I did not like bend a rod or something stupid. I thought it sounds more like a slapping sound more than it does like a knocking sound. Because if you could shut out the noise of the engine, it just sounded like a smack. Or if you could shut out the sound of the smacking, it just sounded like the engine ran perfect. So luckily I was doing my launches literally like a half mile or less from my house. So, and then I took it really slowly over to the house, got it over into the driveway and pulled the truck over, popped the hood and I could just see the belt starting to fray. It was just coming apart. It looks to me like it's a stock belt. Now, luckily these belts are not terribly hard to change. Some people online will tell you, oh my gosh, you're gonna have to take the whole front off of the truck, the radiator and everything and whatever else. That's, that's not actually true. Um, you can do it without doing all of that nonsense the tensioner pulley is down low you can see it right there you're gonna need a half inch uh socket get in there and uh, take some pressure off the belt and pull the belt off the belt actually didn't get that bad though luckily and i was able to catch it um in time but you can see that like piece i can't if i put my hand down there then it tries to focus on my hand this big long strand right there well that is actually some of the belt and uh, I'll show it to you a little closer up once I get it out there but you can see where it literally ripped off all through here and it's <laughs> and it started coming apart now I kind of expect that for a factory belt to start to do that when you start to throw that much power at it and it's been on there for so freaking long but uh, we're gonna get this pulled out and put this put on which is actually a Gates green belt and uh, this is supposed to help with a lot of things a the belt won't squeak, truck won't chirp when you turn it off, and the belt's just stronger and able to hold a lot more abuse a lot longer. So uh, we're gonna get that old belt pulled off and put this on, and if I have any complications, I will shoot the chicken. So here's what happened to our belt. It wasn't terribly gone, but this little bit started to fray off and it started smacking under the, under the truck. So I'm gonna get this new one I'm going to hook it to this and make sure it's the right length before I go and try wasting time to put it on if it's wrong. And it's perfect. I'm going to try to put this on without removing a single piece off this truck. Will it work? I honestly have no idea, <laughs> um, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to put it back on the exact way I was able to sneak it out of there. <laughs> didn't have to remove a single part from the truck to do it and maybe that's because this one's so aftermarket and it's got so much crap removed but i'm pretty sure you wouldn't have to remove anything even if it was a stock truck under the hood so i'll give you guys a quick look at the new belt there it is and this is the tensioner pulley right right down there just did a quick double take and made sure that everything was where it's supposed to be looked at diagrams should be all good to go like i said this is a gates i'm gonna give the truck a start it's gonna be the first start since that belt started coming loose
she runs good guys and by the way this giveaway is now over and uh i do have a special truck i'm excited about the next one and i didn't want to show it to you guys until the giveaway for this truck was over because i know that understandably so some of you guys get so excited about the next one that you're like ah maybe i won't enter for this one i'll wait for the next one so i thought you know what i'm gonna make them wait that way if they actually want to enter for this one they can do so without having hesitations of what's coming next or anticipations of what's coming next and yeah super excited anyways guys got the new belt on the broken truck is it's fixed it's all good <laughs> it was just a belt and um the other one was starting to squeak and i was like that's just not good and then um and then it went from squeaking to actually starting to fall apart under the hood but i was right around the corner so it worked out perfectly fine anyways guys we're gonna get to now changing the oil on the rosine because that has not been done in about three years but the truck to its defense has only been driven about 1500 miles in the last three years so i think we'll be fine what is going on guys oh man uh it's been a minute since i've seen you guys back here on the channel i've had some uh pretty pretty rough stuff i've been dealing with recently with the loss of my grandfather and that was pretty hard because we were we were like this i mean we were like two peas in a pod i mean we we always hung out together anytime i was in town and had good times filmed a lot of videos together since about 2016 and um yeah that was a rough one very unexpected and just there was no time to be prepared for it i'm sure some of you guys have been there a lot of you guys have been there and it's not easy to deal with especially when somebody's like it's like a best friend you're losing you know it's one thing if you're like distant not real not a real relationship with them and they're just kind of like oh, i'm related to them somehow i kind of i mean we see them here and they're like we were like we we're like best friends so it you know it was pretty rough on me and most of my family that was close to them and all that aside i'm doing i'm doing well uh, thanks for all the messages the comments the emails the dms i mean you guys reached out to me in so many different ways letting me know you're thinking about me and the family and how we were doing and i i, I really appreciate that because that meant a lot to me and uh i couldn't message everybody back but um just just know that i i do appreciate it reagan appreciated it my mom and dad and everybody they appreciate it you guys reaching out so anyways we are in a new truck uh yes new not brand new but new truck with a whopping 84,437 miles on it. That's right. We do have Rosine following behind. And uh, that truck has got about a thousand miles put on it in about a week from all the driving we've been doing, looking for, well, finally, what we think is the perfect truck. And it's been a challenge. And when I say it's been a challenge, guys, I mean, if you guys have seen the truck market recently, you guys know there's not much on the truck market and the stuff that is on the truck market is very expensive and a lot of times not even that clean so it's been really hard because we've looked at so many trucks in the last week we've looked at five trucks just in the last week alone and pretty much all of them the listings were not as described and it just kind of made it frustrating when you're you know like one guy i was driving three hours to look at his truck and then uh after those three hours we get there he said oh it's rust free it's immaculate it's as good as they get we get there the whole bed is just rotted underneath i mean like if you threw a sack of grain in the bed of that truck it would fall through the bed i mean that's that's how many holes there are in the bed of that truck i mean it was it was pretty bad so that was not fun get a little get a little shot of rosine there a little rosine action who doesn't like a little rosine action that thing has been so reliable and so nice to be able to drive. Honda's getting the AC fixed, the runaround car. The AC all of a sudden stopped working, so that's getting fixed. And uh, once that gets fixed, that's going to be what we prioritize on driving, of course. Not Rosine on all these long trips. But Rosine has been a champ, I will say that. So anyways, all that being said, we've looked at a bunch of trucks. Most all of them were completely not as described some of them were as described and then we saw them in person and realized it's just more work than we were wanting to do we wanted something that was just freaking super clean we wanted super clean guys i don't, I don't like you know even trucks that are completely rust free and all they need is paint like that's not even that big of a deal but even i just didn't want to have to repaint another truck i mean i'm just i mean 
Listen, Miguel, I like you, bro, but I hate writing you checks for paint. I will say that. I'm so glad that we have the connection, but I hate having to pay for paint on every single truck that we get. So all that being said, uh, we're in another truck and this thing is really nice and I can't wait to show it to you. Here it is, the 2003 5.9 Cummins with 84,000 flipping miles on it. So I'm gonna show you all around this truck and I'm gonna give you a brief idea of what we're gonna be doing with it. Um, and by the way, the giveaway for this truck does start on Tuesday, August 31st. We're getting this one started ASAP and I'll tell you why we're able to do that in just a moment. So with this truck, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different than the theme was for the white truck. The white truck was literally like fully built top to bottom, you know, everything modified, transmission, engine, you know, big turbo and big injectors, you know, you know, high horsepower tuning. I mean, everything, right? And that white truck we're giving away, which we should be calling one of you any day here now, that truck makes just shy or right around 800 horsepower is what I was told it should make right around the 800 horsepower ballpark range. I mean, you put it in four wheel drive and launch and it smokes four tires for the first several yards of launching i mean it's pretty freaking sweet i mean that truck has an unreal amount of torque but anyways on the topic of this one we're going to be doing this one kind of the opposite of that and i'm going to tell you why in just a moment what's something you notice when you look under the hood of this truck nothing is touched there's no tuning there's no big intake there's no big turbos there's no big injectors in this truck there's nothing done to this truck and i bought this truck specifically for that reason the white one i bought because it was a great platform to get a lot of power out of because there was already so much done to it. It just wasn't finished and we finished it off and it was a screamer. I mean, the thing is a monster. This truck is a complete opposite of that. This truck is super low miles and never touched. It's never been tuned. It's never been ragged on. It's been a very hardly, very lightly driven low mileage truck. I mean, the thing has gotten nothing done except for one upgrade and that's an exhaust which i'm totally okay with but other than that i mean it's got stock third brake light stock tail lights i mean it's got the stock little tiny mirrors on it i mean it is just stock as it gets and i can kind of tell it's probably an older gentleman that owned it because his taste in wheels are very uh like 10 years ago plus you know so i mean it was probably something that was cool a while ago and uh, he wanted something that was like aftermarket you know and but just nothing crazy. I mean, it's stock suspension and everything. I mean, this thing has not been touched. And let me give you my thoughts on this. I know there's gonna be people that are like, dude, if you've got a truck, you've gotta build it, you gotta go crazy. And we are gonna be doing some stuff to this truck, but it's gonna be very subtle. And when I mean that, I mean like, it's gonna look very aggressive, but it's not gonna be overdone. And I hope you guys understand that. And just as many people that we have who say, build high horsepower and go crazy we have just as many people who are like dude i'd rather just have a truck with some nice wheels and tires with a bunch of nice aftermarket lighting make it look mean and aggressive but i don't want it hot rotted out i don't want big injectors i don't want a giant turbo or two giant turbos you know and tons of tuning and a truck that's making 800 horsepower like we've got people that don't like that stuff as well now i'm sure it's very split down the line of people who do and don't like that stuff but i want to give you guys an option to win a third gen that's not all hot rotted out for the guys that just aren't a fan of that which believe it or not 
even people that watch videos like these or even other channels on YouTube that do a bunch of aftermarket stuff, sometimes they watch it because they think it's cool, but in reality, they'd rather their trucks stay mostly stock but just look kind of cool. So coming on into the truck here, like I said, it's a 2005 5.9 Cummins. Got the Cummins badges on it. This thing is freaking literally squeaky clean. No, it's got one little squeak because this freaking, uh, this needs uh, greased up or something. That one spot there needs greased. But anyways, I mean, this thing is very, very clean. I mean, it is very, very nice. I mean, you've got all the power options up down tilt it forward tilt it back i mean it's got all the options everything works this thing's got the original carpet on top of the carpet and it's mint it is very nice and the thing has a dang near perfect interior i mean it's got pretty much all the nice options you could get in a third gen at that time other than leather but everything else aside from the leather it's pretty much got it's really really nice um transmission shifts amazing thing drives like a freaking dream eighty four thousand miles and it literally not even the radio has been swapped i mean it's got the stock radio everything about it has just been un freaking touched so we were actually really really excited about that since we're trying to do something that was the opposite of the last one and we already have a new set of wheels and tires we were picking up today for this truck so these ones will be for sale the rears are about I want to say 50 plus percent tread, 60, 70 maybe even. Wheels are in very, very good shape. They actually look like they're almost new. And then the fronts are, of course, I mean, they look they look like they're brand new. I mean, they're nittos. They're nice, really nice. They're not the cheap, they're not like cheap, cheap tires. I mean, they're, they're pretty nice tires. So these will probably be for sale very soon. If you guys want to keep an eye out on Facebook Marketplace. We're going to be changing out all the lighting on the truck and it's going to match it very, very well. And uh, like I said, guys, this thing's not going to be overdone. It's going to be aggressive, but it's going to be subtle. For the most part, leave the engine as untouched and unmolested as we can so that it's almost like a blank canvas and you can do whatever you want to it yourself. Yes, the truck's going to come with $5,000 cash, just like they always do. And you're going to be able to get this truck and do whatever you want with it. But if you don't want to do anything to it, you have that option as well. So, of course, I'm sure you guys want to hear this thing start up. So there she is in all of her glory. The 84,000 mile 5.9 Cummins could be yours coming up soon. Starts August 31st. This giveaway is gonna be two weeks shorter than the last third gen we just gave away. And for everybody that was wondering about the truck that I was talking about, the white one, most of you probably know if you regularly watch, but for those of you that are new, this is the white truck that I said we just ended up uh, closing the giveaway for and we will have a winner for any day now and this is what i was telling you guys that makes just shy of about 800 horsepower we're guessing and it's a freaking it's a monster it's awesome uh but i just thought let's do another third gen but this time completely untouched and that's what we're doing now we are going to change a couple of things on this black truck that you guys are going to like trust me you're going to like it it's going to look really good it's going to look sporty it's going to look aggressive but when I say untouched, I mean like in terms of the truck, we're not doing like a huge suspension lift and, you know, throwing compounds on it and, you know, just making it basically a hot rod. That's what I mean by we're not going to like, you know, do it all up, but it is still going to look really nice, believe me. And it's going to look really nice. Within the next seven days, the truck's going to look totally different.